Manchester United have almost reached a seven-year itch. Without a Premier League trophy since Sir Alex Ferguson's departure in 2013, the same summer that Leicester had their own irritations at failing to return to the top flight. Deeney! With the very last kick of this playoff semi-final, Troy Deeney wins it for Watford and sends them to Wembley. Few could have predicted what would then unfold. United nowhere to be seen when the Foxes led the field three seasons later. For Leicester fans, we're used to sort of having an up and down yo-yo of a team. That's what we always have been um, from back in the day in the 90s to up to that point. Since that moment, we've come into the Premier League and everyone, everyone said favourites to go down. Great escape and we stayed up and it was just unbelievable. It was almost like winning the Premier League. Oh no, hang on, we did win the Premier League. There was the following season, that momentum carried on. A Premier League tail without compare. It is beyond crazy. In 2013, United, Premier League champions for the 20th time. Greatest manager in the world has just departed. I thought the future was going to be rosy. We've cycled through a few managers and it feels like we've cycled through a lot of players. And you think Falcao, Di Maria, Schweinsteiger. We're in a massively different place. I think United fans have to accept there's a real rebuilding. Got to go on now with Solskjaer. Their home's been ransacked already this season. Crystal Palace stole all three points, while the most recent draw at Southampton produced more questions than answers. But Leicester, like Liverpool and Manchester City, are still unbeaten. What Brendan Rodgers has changed about Leicester is he has given them, the players and the fans, a belief that Leicester are not just capable of breaking the top six this season, but can give it a real go of pushing the top four. Rodgers has taken them to a side who can use the ball, keep it, and he's bringing an all-round game to Leicester, and he's also, crucially, getting the best out of Jamie Vardy. Oh, Vardy, onside, beat the linesman, beat the defenders, beat the goalkeeper, beat everybody! This is his man up! Whether it's warranted or not, you need, to, you need to believe, and it's so important, and it's been some of the key messages I've said to players since I've come in, you know, that you, you have to be able to go to any arena and believe that you can win. And I think this group and, and how we're playing and how we've worked and how we've created our, our mindset, you know, genuinely has that belief. I think Leicester are a definite threat to United and Arsenal at the moment, and possibly even Chelsea with the transfer ban and inexperienced manager. I don't think they can be too arrogant to not look over your shoulder. The league is at the top uncompetitive because no one's getting near two very, very good teams that are elite. But that little middle ground, I think that's sort of the grabs. At the moment, Leicester City are the English core of England international football, what Man United used to be. We have players like James Madison, Ben Chilwell. We've even got Hamza Chowdhury. It's exciting times for Leicester. We are building into something. I think that United have been underrated a little bit and written off a little bit too soon. I think we'll be more than a handful for you. We're conceding very, very few chances. It's just that we haven't saved the chances that we've conceded. They've kind of all gone in and we haven't been clinical up front. If we can just change even one of those, and draws won't be draws, there'll be, there'll be victories, and losses won't be losses, there'll be draws or wins, and I think you can make a case United probably should have 10 points at the moment. There's always pressure when, you, when you're here, but of course I'm confident in what we're doing and we've got a plan. The performances haven't told me that we're, uh, we need to change direction. Uh, results, that's a different matter, but when you concede three goals in four chances, that's not a lot we could, uh, can control. Leicester have only got two wins against Man United, uh, and Old Trafford, I believe, in the Premier League's only one, and that came in 97 and 98, so it's a long time ago. <laughs> in that fact, though, I do think we're going to win, and I think Jamie Vardy's going to get the first. I do think we'll concede, but I think we'll, we'll outscore you. I think it'll be tight, 2-1 United, I'm going for.